We're here at the network operation center of my house, also known as the laundry room, because my wife stores her washer and dryer in my network operation center. We're here at the network operation center of my house, also known as the laundry room, because my wife stores her washer and dryer in my network operation center. But uh, what I'm here to show you is a really cool device that I have been playing with, a really cool project that I put onto a really cool device. This is the first generation Raspberry Pi. Now, I actually bought a Raspberry Pi 3 because I didn't think the first generation was going to have enough horsepower. Turns out it has more than enough horsepower and works actually really, really well. So I'll show you what we have going on here. The Raspberry Pi has been flashed with a software called Volumio. And basically, coming out of the Raspberry Pi, we, ha we have power going to the Raspberry Pi, we have a network feed to the Raspberry Pi, and then we have a, a USB DAC. And, and I'll show you where, where we go from there. So from the USB DAC, it comes out over here. And obviously, uh, let's see here, if I can dig this up just a little bit. It's caught on some cords, and obviously we'll tidy this up once uh, once I'm, I'm good to go. But you can kind of see here, this is a small little Behringer UCA202, I think is the model number. Uh, unbalanced audio interface, really, really handy. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon.com. We'll have a link in the description down below. Um, but basically, from there, it goes over to my uh, home audio receiver, which is uh, right here. And basically, this is a uh, just a little two-channel amplifier. Um, and then from that two channel amplifier, it goes, it feeds into, uh, this audio block. And, uh, basically what this audio block is, is that, uh, we run, um, two pairs of 14 gauge, uh, wire and, uh, into, in, in a single cable unit. And basically there's a feed from that amplifier and then it splits out into, the five different zones in my house, and I'll show you what those are. And uh, I've, I've tied this up, I've tied this up. Uh, eventually this will get mounted, you know, up here and, and I'll make it look all pretty and, and tie those wires up and stuff, but it's just kind of hanging there for right now as I, as I kind of get everything kind of situated. But I'll show you uh, how I control Volumeo, and then I'll show you how we actually get audio in the house. Let's go take a look. So here we are at my dining room table, and I have my trusty ThinkPad here, and uh, I'm going to show you just what the Volumio interface looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to uh, the IP address of Volumio, and uh, essentially when I get to the screen I have three tabs. I have the Browse tab, which shows me available media to play, the Playback tab, which gives me current playback controls, and then the Q tab, which is obviously what's coming up. So some of the things I can do, I can obviously go to my music library, go to my NAS, and uh, here is music. So, and then I can pause the, obviously pause the, pause the, uh, the song, I can go into the queue, I can remove that, that song if I don't want to listen to that particular song, which, by the way, I don't. Um, I, I, you can also create uh, playlists, and uh, of course, I've got my own playlist, and so I can hit uh, play, and then now it loads all of those songs into the queue. And uh, that comes out over the speakers uh, above me, which I'll show you. One of the other things that I really liked about Volumio was, in addition to local media playback, one of the things that I can do is I can play internet radio. So, for example, I have added the Ask Noah stream. I have added uh, my local radio station that I listen to. And so I can click on that, and it plays local radio. All right, what I want to show you now is where the audio, how the audio actually gets to our ears. So it's coming out of that two-channel amplifier, as we discussed, goes to that zone splitter, and then comes up into the house to these individual zone volume controls. And uh, basically, I can set uh, the volume for any one of these zones, and of course, we have them both here in the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, the master bathroom, the master bedroom, even the entryway, so we can play music as people are coming into the house for Thanksgiving, Christmas, those kinds of things. Uh, from this volume control, it then goes up to these in-ceiling speakers, so I have two of them. These are Poke Audio, and I think these are really fantastic speakers. I think they offer a very good sound quality for the money. The nice thing about what Volumio allows me to do is without having to worry about external controls up here at the house. So for example, I could use the lighting control as a good example. This is a lighting scene controller, and basically these commands set the various light zones across the house. But to make that work, I have to have a control box downstairs that interprets the commands for many of these seven buttons, goes downstairs, says I need to set the lights for these various rooms to these 
various things. Um, the nice thing about Volumio is when I set, I can change the source from internet radio to local media, back to internet radio, over to the Ask Noah stream. Any of those things can be done through the web interface or through the mobile optimized web interface. They also have an Android app. And what that means is anywhere I am in the house, I can select media, walk over to the appropriate zone control, turn up the volume, and enjoy music. So a huge thanks to the Volumio folks that made this project available. They also support high resolution audio. So if a few weeks ago in the Ask Noah show, you enjoyed our segment on high resolution audio with the appropriate DAC, you can in fact do 192 kilohertz audio with Volumio as long as you have, again, a supported DAC. So huge thanks to those guys for making an absolutely fantastic project, something that I have come to depend on every single morning when I get ready in the morning and my wife really gets a kick out of it as well as well as my kids. So thanks uh, a whole lot to the people that made that project possible. I'm using the heck out of it and absolutely love it. If you found this information helpful, you'd like more, make sure to check out the Ask Noah Show. The Ask Noah Show is the weekly radio show where we take your tech questions and answer them live on the air. You can catch the Ask Noah Show every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central. More information, asknoahshow.com.